Hi everyone, welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This is part two of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. If you haven't seen the first tutorial yet, that's probably where you should start. When I recorded the performance video of this piece, I just played whatever fingering felt good at the time. So when I make the tutorials, I go back and write down that fingering, and that's what I teach you. If the fingerings don't work for you, then just use whatever does, it's fine. There are a lot of stretches in this piece that might be too big for you or kind of hard to coordinate. If that's the case, go ahead and follow my recommendations for how to accommodate for your um, hand size. So don't let the stretches stop you from playing. You can always leave out a note here or there and be just fine with it. So I just incorporated those into the tutorial. There's not like a separate section for the easy version. Uh, so just watch the tutorial and do what you need to do in order to play this piece. Remember, I teach you left hand and right hand and then hands together for a reason because that's actually the best way to teach yourself. A lot of times people write and ask me, why am I having such a hard time learning these pieces that you're, you're teaching? And I ask, are you practicing hands separately? And usually the answer is no. Well, <laughs> that's why. Okay, so it might seem like it's the long way around, but it's actually kind of a shortcut to getting your hands to learn what they need to learn so that when you put the hands together, it flows more easily. If you like my videos, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Find me on social media. Uh, on Facebook, I'm at The Piano Keys. On Instagram, The Piano Keys TPK. And my website is thepianokeys.com. I have a bunch of free sheet music that you can download and then just some other interesting things that you might wanna check out. If you want to learn how to read music properly and how to practice, take a look at my piano course called Piano Bootcamp. I show you everything step by step so that if you taught yourself how to play and there are questions that you have, this course will help you to fill in all the gaps in your knowledge. The link to Piano Bootcamp is in the description box of this video and I also have a coupon code there that you can use that will save you over $60 off the list price of the course. So check it out. You can watch a couple of lessons for free. There's no obligation. Okay, if you're ready to learn the second part of Moonlight Sonata, keep watching. When we finished the first tutorial on this piece, we were on the B octaves down here with the left hand. So from here, we're going to move up. It's all gonna be octaves and fingers five and one, so I won't say the finger numbers. So you go up to E, then G, and then you go back to where you came from. So back to E, and then back to B. Then you repeat that, E, G, E, B. From here you go even lower to G sharp, and then even lower to E sharp, which is also called F, but we're calling it E sharp because that's how it's written, and then up to F sharp, back to our starting point B, up to the next white key, B sharp, now here, the next two notes are not octaves, they're just single notes. You can use whatever finger you want. Uh, I'm using three right now. And then switching it to two because I'm preparing for what's coming next. But if you wanna use fives or four, whatever feels comfortable for you. The right hand ended on the note B when we last saw it. So that's where we're gonna start, okay? From here, you'll play D, second finger, F sharp, fourth finger, and then repeat. B, D, F sharp. You play the B again, this time go to D sharp, and then the F sharp you're gonna do with the third finger. Then you repeat these three notes, but you add an octave B on top. Remember, if you have a hard time reaching this, then just play it and let it go. Okay? If even that is hard for you, then just play the top note. Okay? So from here, you play 
Now a, a ninth, so the bottom note is a B and the top note is a C. As you can see, I can barely reach it. So I hang on to the edges of the keys. I'm not trying to go over, that would be impossible for me to do. So I'm hanging on to the edge. If that's too big for you, you just play the top note, okay? So I'm gonna assume that you can reach this B with the first finger and then fifth finger on C. Hold the C if you're able to, and then second finger on E, third finger on G. Repeat those three notes again. You're going to repeat them again, but this time you add a, an A sharp on top with the fourth finger. Again, if you can't reach that, just play the top note always, okay? If I don't say otherwise, if you can't reach something, just play the top note because usually the top note has the melody in this piece. Okay, now play octave B, second finger on D sharp, third finger on F sharp. We've already done this before. Repeat it. Again. Then add the B on top. So this is gonna look really familiar because we just played it. Okay. Go up to the B and C again. This is a, an exact repetition of what we just did. Here's that A sharp on top with a fourth finger. Again, repeating what we've already learned. Back to the B on top. Second finger on D sharp, third finger on F sharp. Repeat that. Now play the B octave again. This time second finger moves down to D natural and third finger moves down to E sharp. So both of these fingers move from black keys to white keys. Repeat that. Now play your B octave. Second finger on C sharp, fourth finger on G sharp. Repeat that. Okay, let go of the top note if this is too much for you. And then down to A octave, second finger on C sharp, fourth finger on F sharp. Repeat that. Then down to G octave. Stay with me, we're almost done on this section. Second finger on B, third on D. Repeat those three notes. Now, F sharp octave. Second finger goes to A. Fourth finger on D sharp. Repeat those three notes. Now, C sharp octave, look how low we are. Second finger on F sharp. Third on A. Repeat those three notes. Play the octave, C sharp. Second finger is still on F sharp. Third finger moves to G sharp. Play the octave again. Second finger moves to E sharp. And then third finger to G sharp. Okay? The first note of the next section will be F sharp first finger. So that's where you're gonna end this. So let me show you from the beginning of this section and I'll just say note names um, so you can keep track of where we are. So this B that I'm starting with was the last note that you played in the previous tutorial. Okay, we're gonna start at this being our first note. B, D, F sharp. Repeat that. B, D sharp, F sharp. Repeat that with the octave on top. Now, B and C, E, G. Play these three notes two more times. You're going to play the same three notes again, adding the A sharp on top. Now, B octave, going back to your D sharp, F sharp. Two more times. again add the B octave on top going back to the C on top this is a repetition we've already done E G play these three notes two more times play 
the three notes again, this time A sharp on top. Back to our B octave, D sharp, F sharp. Repeat that. B octave, D, E sharp. Repeat that. B octave, C sharp, G sharp. Repeat. A octave, C sharp, F sharp. Repeat. G octave, B, D. Repeat that. F sharp octave, A, D sharp. Repeat that. Then C sharp octave, F sharp, A. Repeat. C sharp octave, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp octave, E sharp, G sharp, and here's the first note of the next section, F sharp. Hands start together. Left hand holds for a long time. Pick up the left hand, play together. Pick up the left hand again, play together. Pick up the left hand again, play together. Pick up left hand, play together. Notice you're playing together when the right hand plays the thumb. At the other times, you're not. Your left hand is holding. So here we are. Left hand's gonna hold, right hand plays. repeating what you just did. Pick up the left hand, together, pick up, together, pick up, together, pick up, together. Hold the left hand. Now, pick it up, together, Together, pick up, together, pick up, together, pick up, together. Together, and then together. But we haven't learned that left hand yet. You're going to learn it in the next section. <laughs> so you might be wondering about pedaling. Uh, I have a pedaling video coming up after this one, so you need to watch that if you want to learn about pedaling. But in general, you want to clear the pedal every time that the chord changes. Sometimes the chord changes when the left hand plays a new note. Sometimes the left hand's holding a note while the right hand chord changes. For example, in the beginning of this uh, section, I would put down the pedal here. So we're going to play the same notes, there's no need to clear. But now we're going to go to D sharp. If I don't clear it sounds like this. So it starts to get a little bit muddy. So what I do is I clear the pedal when the notes change in the right hand. So watch, I'll tell you where I'm changing the pedal. change here because I'm going from the B to the C and that will sound muddy if I don't change. Change. Change means you just go up and down. Now, change. 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 You get the idea. Okay? So 
you change the pedal when you want to clear the sound, um, watch my pedaling video that will give you a lot of practice and how to actually use the pedal and how to think about using it, okay? The left hand, we ended up on C sharp. And um, so we're going to keep that C sharp, second finger, add octave F sharps on either side of it. Okay? So you're going to use these same three fingers, five, two, one, pick up and play octave E sharps with a C sharp in the middle. So like this. Okay? From here, now we're just going to play octaves, F sharp, D sharp. C sharp. Now we're playing three notes again, so we have the octave B sharps with a G sharp in the middle, second finger. Repeat that. Now keep the second finger where it is, move the octaves up to C sharp. Next will be just octaves, F sharp. This is F double sharp. If you don't know what that is yet, don't worry about it, you can call it G. And then up to G sharp. That will be the next section. Right hand, remember the F sharp that we played at the end of the last section is also the first note of this section. So F sharp, first finger. A, second finger, C sharp, fourth finger. Now put the first finger on A, second finger on C sharp, fourth on F sharp. First on C sharp, so you're crawling up the keyboard. Second on F sharp, third on A. You're going to play these last three notes again with a C sharp on top. And then repeat the C sharp. So we've already played this kind of thing in the very beginning, in the first tutorial where we did. Okay, but now we're up here. So if you had to make an accommodation in the first tutorial because your hand wouldn't reach, you would do the same thing here. Then play C sharp octaves, hold the top note if you're able to, then second finger G sharp, fourth on B. Repeat these three notes, repeat again. You're going to play them again, this time add the C sharp on top. Repeat the C sharp. C sharp octave, second finger F sharp, third on A. Repeat those three notes. Now, octave B sharp, second finger on F sharp, third on A. Octave C sharp, then the two notes that you just played, second finger on F sharp, third on A, then D sharp octave, if you can hold the top note, great, if you can't, let it go. So, F sharp second finger, third finger G sharp. Repeat these three notes, repeat them again. You're going to repeat them again with a D sharp on top, like that. Now, E octave, G sharp second finger, C sharp fourth finger. Repeat these three notes. D sharp octave, F sharp second finger, A third finger, C sharp octave, second finger on E, and then here you can do fourth finger, or you can do third finger, whatever you like. That works, that works, either way. And then the first note of the next section will be the finger moving to B sharp by itself. So I'll play just the notes and tell you what they're called. F sharp, A, C sharp. A, C sharp, F sharp. C sharp, F sharp, A, octave C sharp, F sharp, A, top C sharp, octave C sharp, G sharp, B, repeat that two times, then octave C sharp, 
G sharp, B, top note, octave C sharp, F sharp, A, repeat, B sharp, F sharp, A. Notice these notes are not changing, just the octaves are changing. C sharp, octave, F sharp, A. Now, D sharp octave, F sharp, G sharp. Repeat that two more times. You're going to play it again. Play the D sharp on top also. Now, E octave, G sharp, C sharp. Repeat that. D sharp octave, F sharp, A. C sharp octave, E, A sharp. And then the next note in the next section will be B sharp. Hands start together. Left hand holds for a really long time. Now, the right hand is going to play this. The left hand should start moving it um, up to the next keys that it's going to play. And then together, left hand holds. Pick up the left hand together. Pick up the left hand together. Pick up together. Together. Left hand's going to repeat that, so pick it up and just set it back down again. Then pick up both hands together. Left hand, pick up and move down together. Pick up the left hand together and then the beginning of the next section will be this so left hand is pretty much as easy as you can possibly get <laughs> in playing the piano so remember we said that G sharp is the beginning of this section well G sharp is the entire section so you just keep playing it one two three and four that is the entire left hand <laughs> right hand so we left off on b sharp fifth finger we're going to play the b sharp an octave lower with the thumb second finger d sharp fourth finger g sharp if you can hold it great if not don't worry the pedal will hold it repeat the bottom two notes Fifth finger on A, repeat the bottom two notes again. Fourth finger on F sharp, repeat the bottom two notes. Now, these two notes that you just played, you're going to play them again, but with third finger and fifth finger. First finger on G sharp, repeat these guys. Second finger on A, repeat those notes again. First finger on F sharp. Repeat those notes. So we keep playing B sharp and D over and over with stuff happening around it. Then low E with your thumb and then jump up real quick to the E above it. So you're going up an octave immediately. Second finger on G sharp. You're going to play these notes again, but first you put fourth finger on C sharp. Fifth finger on E repeat those other two notes back to C sharp fourth finger repeat those notes you're gonna play E and G sharp again but down an octave same fingers C sharp it's exactly what we just played but we're playing it down an octave okay so I'll play and just say the note names B sharp 
B sharp, D sharp, G sharp, B sharp, D sharp, A, B sharp, D sharp, F sharp, B sharp, D sharp, B sharp, D sharp, G sharp, B sharp, D sharp, A, B sharp, D sharp, F sharp, B sharp. D sharp, E, jump up, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, E, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp. Repeat that down an octave. E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, E, E, G sharp. C sharp, E, G sharp. Hands start together, left hand holds. So the only time left hand's gonna lift is to be able to play the G sharp again, because remember that's all we play in this section. So here we go. Together. Now, you're gonna lift the left hand, play it by itself. Then the right hand takes over. Now, play the hands together. Left hand holds, right hand keeps going. Left hand plays while the right hand moves down. And that's it. That was part two of Moonlight Sonata. Remember, practice slowly. Give yourself time to learn what you need to learn. Let me know if you have any questions and also how you're coming along. Have fun and I will see you soon. Bye.